Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create intelligent playlists in Rekordbox. Now some of you may be familiar with this concept if you use iTunes because iTunes has a feature called Smart Playlists, which is essentially the same thing. So for instance, you can create a smart playlist for genre and then you can tag all your tracks, you know, by a certain genre and then it will group them all into that playlist. Intelligent playlists are basically the same thing. The only limitation is that you can only hold about a thousand tracks in each intelligent playlist. So again, for example, if you're doing it by genre, say Electro House, then you might just want to do Electro House 1, Electro House 2, or you could group them by year like Electro House 2015, Electro House 2016, and so on. Intelligent playlists are super easy to set up in Rekordbox and they're also really helpful to organize your tracks quickly because anytime you import a new track into your Rekordbox library, it'll then be sorted into the appropriate playlist. So you can do it by genre or label, artist, or a combination of different tags and then it'll automatically plop it into the right playlist. So let me show you how to do this. First, you either go to the main menu right here and you can click on playlist, scroll down and hit create new intelligent playlist. Or you can go to this area right here and right click on a PC, control click on a Mac, and then just scroll down to create new intelligent playlist. Click that and then it brings up this dialog box right here. So the first thing you can do is name your playlist. So we can name that depending on what type of playlist it is. And then we have this here where we can add additional criteria. So we can just hit the plus sign and make new filter options. Here we have the match all of the following conditions or any of the following conditions. So you can choose between that. And then right here are our filter options. So if you click this down arrow, here's all the options that you can filter by and you can assign each line to a different filter. And then each one of these has different options here to narrow things down. So for instance, if we have artists selected, it gives us these options. So we have the equal to sign, which means music files which fully match the text or value you've entered. So it has to match it exactly with whatever you enter right here. And then we have the non-equal sign, which refers to music files which do not match the text or value you've entered. So it's the opposite of the equals. And then here we have contains. So that's any music files that contains any of what you write in this little row right here. So say you only write one word, any tracks that contain that one word will be added into the playlist. And then here we have does not contain, which is the opposite. So any tracks that do not contain that one word or phrase or whatever you write in there. And then next is starts with, and that's anything that starts with whatever you write in there. And then here is ends with, and that's any tracks that end with what you write right here. So for artist, we could put, you know, equal to exactly, we want any tracks that come up with Urban Assault. Or if it were label, which you can choose here, all these options, here's label, then we would put heavy artillery, but say, okay, heavy artillery's full name is heavy artillery recordings, but not every track may have that full name on it, in which case we'd want to select contains or starts with. So you get the idea. Next, if we choose here, if we choose BPM, now it brings up other options right here. So we still have equals and not equals, but then we also have greater than and less than. So this symbol refers to music files whose value is larger than what you've entered. So if I want everything over say 128, you know, and this is less than, so everything that's below 128. And then last is in the range. So you can choose 128 to 1. 40 to narrow down the search to a certain range. Then there's a few more options here that'll pop up if you choose, say, date added. So first we have equals to, which has to be that exact date, and you can fill in the date here. And same with not equals to, so anything that 
was added on this date won't be added into this playlist. And then here we have the greater than, less than, and this is in the last, so you can do like in the last five days or months, you know, or is not in the last five days or months. And then here we also have is in the range, and then you can pick two dates so that any tracks that were added within that date range will be added into this playlist. So first, let's do a label playlist. So the way you delete these is just go like this. So say I just want a playlist of all heavy artillery tracks and I'm going to put contains and then I'll put heavy artillery. And then I hit okay. Now all the heavy artillery tracks that are in my library fall into this playlist. And anything I add in the future will also fall into this playlist as long as it has heavy artillery attached to it. Let's do another one. So this one we're gonna do genres, which I think is even more helpful. So let's do dubstep. So we're gonna do dubstep and under genre. And then okay, so here's all the dubstep tracks. Now if you want to narrow it down even further, let's do one that's super narrowed down. So let's do Arcasia Heavy Artillery. So this will only pull the tracks from Arcasia that were released on Heavy Artillery. And say we only want the ones that we've added recently, so we don't want his older tracks, we can do a date range. So let's do date added. And let's do is in the last three months. So now that just pulls up this little list right here because these were the only tracks that were added in the last three months of Arcasia that are on heavy artillery recordings. Now, if you ever wanna edit an intelligent playlist later after you've created it, you can just right click on the playlist and hit edit the intelligent playlist and then it brings up the dialogue and you can change the settings in here. So that's the basics of creating intelligent playlists in Rekordbox, and I encourage you to use this feature because it will really speed up your workflow in terms of organizing your library. So if you want to learn more, check out the next video.